we're at Libens with naked little fingers. This is going to be an interesting video because I am going to be editing the same day. So today is Wednesday and this video is going up on Wednesday. Why? Because I like to torture myself. No, that's not the reason at all. But that is what we're going to be doing. I'm going to take this card actually. We'll bring this sucker back in. Once someone got mad at me that I did not round up all the carts and bring all of them back in. But can't make everyone happy. All right, let's go in, see what we can find on this Wednesday. The parking lot is suspiciously empty, so we'll see if that means anything. But let's go in and do a fast, fast, fast little bins digging around. Let's go in. Naked babies in there. I can confirm it is crazily quiet in here. Cute wallet. Buxton. Okay, let's look at. Some shoots. That's a nice bag. Three dollars. Like the people waiting for the new bins. There's like two people waiting. Ink. Life stride. Oh, those are kind of cute. Soft. I should see if I can find the other. Good old selling them for $12.99. Sometimes it's right in front of my face. It just slaps me. Those are cute. Um, the inside is peeling. Some Edelman's. Report. Kind of cute too. Okay, can I find the other of that? And Klein. What does this say? Oh, Cherokee. Oh god. Massimo. Active air. Neutralizer, Clarks, those are kind of cute. Easy Spirit, I am Pio, Betsyville. Sad I'm finding singles. Hopefully I can find their matchy match Rockport. I don't get a lot of Rockport. But these are kind of cute. Flats are always a good choice. Express metaphor. A little child shoe. Walmart. Okay, hopefully this last bin has our um, matches. Oh, oh, that's a different clerk. This 
Fiery. some rub. go back through, see if I can find my matches for these, and if not, I might just keep them because they might have some, uh, ooh, there's a mafiso, they might have some shoe bins out on the floor that have the matches, so I might just keep them and do a little a little looky loo to see if they're out on the floor somewhere okay I'll be back okay this row has two bins of shoes so we're gonna go through this one I don't know what this brand is We'll check it out. A lot of disposable bags. Or reusable, sorry. It's like a jewelry coat for travel, maybe. This one feels like. <laughs> and twine makeup bag fairy I don't really pick up fairy too much these are kind of cute though I'll double check on these lugs doesn't have its laces Nike. Oh, here's the other lug. 
don't know how Lug's shoes do. I'll double check. Also, I found 26 cents. Winner, winner. What is this? Memory foam. Made in China. Another Nike. These go real high. Who makes you? Uh, no doubt. Well, we'll see about those. What is this? This looks fancy. Let me see if I can find the other one of that. There is another one over there. Ooh, these are cute. Beast fashion. This one. Oh wait, no. Just kidding. Basic. Avia. Oh, that's a nice one. I really don't pick up a lot of tennis shoes. I wonder if this brand is good. AD and Diamo. It needs definitely a good wipe off. Okay. Let me see. Okay. I might come back for this one. Oh, that's cute. Sunny, oh god. Sunny Hawaii. Okay, good. Little binder. Got a Doc Martin. A little squished, but not too bad. Okay, Ooh, that is that lavender is lavendering. All right, Liz Claiborne. Dathan. Mm, a little too scuffered. Scuffered upper. What are you? Bueno. I have a massive spoon. Raccoon police. Looks like a oh. Like a vintage, like Samsonite. I do already have one like this though. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. What do we got back here? Max New York. Very dirty. All right, I pretty much got inside of that bin. Okay, see if I can find my shoe straighteners. What are these? Blade rocks? Maybe.
BCBG. Bag, but it's been used excessively. Hard off the corner. What is this? Jack Wiper? Jack Wiper? BTC. Okay, I'm going to look up some of these. I probably will throw back the ones I don't find a match shoe because I don't see any more shoe bins. So I'm going to keep what I find matches and the rest are getting tossed back. I'm kind of sad about this one. I might double check, see if I can find it, but it looks like it was a rubber band. I don't know, but I'll check. And I will be back. Okay, I'm still holding out a little hope for these stragglers, which I know I'm not gonna find. <laughs> but you know, I can hope. Ooh, you're broken. Oh. 
own beer. A little milk glass bud race. Oh yeah. Party hat. Let's put it on mini. Can have a party in the bins. Hens and chicks. Oh, it's a game. It was ten dollars. Barrel. New View Gifts. Cafe de Paris. Ooh, got a little wiggle. Wiggle. Shark. He's had some bad days though with his fins. Maybe. up this side quick and then I'm gonna get the other side of that row. Uh, some suitcases. They're putting out a row of hard good bins right now. this a massive hello kitty squishy because why not wow these are really strange and tiny cups Dribbled here and there. What? Oh, is this a cook? Bacon? Oh, we have a naked lady. Signature though. But it could be hidden by the frame. <laughs> Tea Biotics Kombucha. Mm. I like a good kombucha. I think I sold one of these. Oh, this one's broken and its color is bleeding. This is $25 at Pier 1. I don't want to get, but home decor for yourself. Oh, these are used. Good for you. 
Good for you. So snack container. Just grab your snacks. Actually, I don't think it's for that. I think it's for diapers. Maybe? August silk. Okay, let's go up to the newest bin. Bins. I think most people have dug through what they wanted, so let's go check out what they have up here. I think I'll just leave my cart here. Look at Mickey. Oh, these cruise ship Mickey. Oh, I love him. Swaco? What is Swaco? A faux Stanley? Got the new new. set the stuff in my cart.
other side where the other bags are. And I will hit up the other ones in a moment. <clears throat> multi Rounding up carts. I gotta go.
I will grab my cards and go back. Mm -hmm. I also don't know what this is, but it looks like it might be something big. It's very dirty though. Needs a good little cleaning. Okay, let's go back. Actually, let's have this one. Ooh, look at all those records. So I have not got this one yet. That's cute. Yeah. Okay, let's go back over here. Army. Vic oh. I think that's a good brand. I'll double check. What is this? Oh. Okay, let's look at these ones. Oh, I'm sweaty. Sweaty. Okay, I looked at most of these. I was wondering what this was. It doesn't have a brand though. I might go see if there's any stragglers and then I might do some clothing, but then I will uh, be back. All right, let's look at some clothing. Oh, that's cute. Little puffer, very dirty. old genie toys made in Korea or sewn in Korea I can I guess I can look him up someone didn't want him I threw him back Let's go 
lot of like kids clothing in here. Well, that would not make me sleepy. I believe that was a pillowcase. Protection system. Very dirty. Maybe it comes with an air tag so people can track you if you tend to get lost easily. Point zero. Sheen. Brooks Brothers. Extra large. I wonder if the like plain shirts do okay. This is a vintage. Let's see about that. What is this? All in motion. Alright, let's go to this other side. Maiden form. Or is this a tablecloth? I've had this problem before. Nope, it's a kimono. Ooh. Very fun. I love some kimonos. Urban cocoa. But yes, these are fairly new clothing bins. I mean, they've been picked through, but not like the ones that have been here all day. Zara. Nice sweater. I don't want to get a sweater. And Zara kind of sells slow for me. Unless I mark it down a lot. Some hair. Nothing's appealing. Okay. They just put out some new clothing bins. They're putting out a new row of hard goods. I'm gonna look up a few things and then I'll be back. Okay, I've been adding and adding and adding and adding. Also, look at these. They're little salt and peppers by Fist and Floyd. Someone threw them back. They didn't want them. 
Um, I'm going to go through this last bit of clothing. And then I think I might go through the new bins quickly. Because I need to get out of here. I need to get to getting. Because I need to edit. Edit and get this sucker up on the tubes. Made in China, Macy's. Signature by Sangria. Ooh. A few stainings on that. What is this? American Eagle. A lot of like clothing just falling out here. What is this? Marmot. Extra large. Um, so a little something there. Let's see about that. Cat and Jack. Classic elements. What is this? Is this a curtain? Mm. I think that's a curtain. A vegan. Frizzy. It's kind of cute, but it needs a lot of fabric shaving. Okay, let's keep going. Taylor Medium. Kinda like it. Throw that in there. Etro scarf. Little neckerchief. head over to the new new see what we got going on over there and then we'll do a recap oh shoot maybe my matching one's hiding out here appear that they are. I probably have to throw them back actually. Boo.
you. A caboodle. It's like a new caboodle. had a bit of a tragedy. <laughs> okay, I am going to do an overview. with all the things we found at the bins today. Okay, overview, overview. Let's do it, let's do it. All right. I haven't been here that long. What time is it? Maybe... When did I get here? I think I got here at 11. An hour and a half. Look at all that for an hour and a half. That's crazy. Some days are good. Some days are poop, but we found a lot of stuff today. All right. Let me go through the things I have found that will be posted on the interwebs to sell. Um, I have gotten a lot of comments just in the scheme of YouTube to tell me to talk normal. And I don't know what that means. <laughs> this is the way I talk. Um, sorry if it's not to the standard of your normal, but this is just how I talk. So, when you tell me to talk normal, it really means nothing because I am talking normal for me. <laughs> so, I am sorry if that is, I wouldn't say offensive, but if people don't like that, but it's just the way I say things. So I am sorry. I make up words. I say weird things. I make weird sounds. It's just part of my personality. So hopefully that clears some things up. But I have gotten like a lot of comments over the course of YouTube to tell me to talk different. But this is literally just how I talk. So I don't know if anyone was wondering that, but this is how I talk. All right, let's go. Okay. We got a few breakables. I have two sets of salt and pepper shakers, which I'm a sucker for, even though they don't sell like high or anything. I just love salt and pepper shakers. So we have a set. The corks are inside, which kind of stinks, but. Uh, next we have a Deneen Pottery 2018 Pancake House. Salem, Oregon. I was like, this really looks like Deneen Pottery, but I couldn't see it right away, but it's there. Okay, next we have a tin. It's pretty, it's pretty sad panda. Not gonna lie. Pretty sad, but I think it would still be a fun decor piece. I think it's pretty old. A pretty old sugar tin. But like, her head is missing, her head's missing, but I like tins, what can I say? Okay, this one was strange. It is labeled Victoria's Secret, so I think it's just a vintage little trinket box, I guess you could say. But I didn't even know Victoria's Secret made these types of things. But yeah. Interesting, very interesting. Okay, next. Oh, this one's broken. Um, Fitz and Floyd tomato salt and peppers. Maybe I'll just put them down at my booth. They're so cute. Oh, 
Uh, let me put that there for a moment. Hopefully I don't break it more. And then we have this little fun bud vase. So glass price on all of this, which is 79 cents a pound. Okay. Next is a Eddie Bauer vintage skirt, size six. Made in Hong Kong, wool blend. It's like a herringbone pattern. It has a few little snakes, but it's not too bad. Goodwill is selling it for $9.99. I'm just going to put these here. Okay, there we go. My glove there. Okay, next we have a, I don't pick up Croft and Borrow like really ever. This is a size large, it's a dress. But it's very like flowy and fun, summery. I like the print, it has its waist tie. So I think I'm gonna get that. Next is, I don't know this brand, but it looks funky. Only Necessities. It's like a moo moo. There is a little like blueberry smush, <clears throat> which I think if I just wash it in a little there, looks like they had a good snack someday. It's a tissue. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'll probably wash it up and it should be fine. Just treat it and wash it. But people like their moo-moos. I love a good moo-moo. They're good. Next we have a vintage Haban sweater. I like the look of this one. I should really get on my Depop more. I think a lot of the things I sell would be very, um, popular on Depop. I just haven't had the time. There's a little weird stainy there to put it over there, but I think Depop would be good for that. Next, Lily of Beverly Hills. Made in USA, size 10. It has a little like pilling and a little stain there. But like them. Next, we have a vintage, I think it's a vintage Pooh Bear. I did an image search, and yeah, I think he's a vintage Pooh Bear. Very, like, strange, stiff, very stiff Pooh Bear. I don't know, I really like him. I really do like him. Okay, I think I'll do this. Hello, how are you? Good, you too. Um, next is Etro Milan, made in Italy, still has the tags, little neck, neckerchief, like a tiger, uh, Asian print, I guess you could say, it has like some birds, but that's pretty good, has the tags with it and everything. Okay. Next we have a very amazing kimono. I like the kimonos. And this one is nice and stiff. I don't know what it is, but look at this thing. It's huge. I love it. Okay. So we're getting the kimono. Next we have a Brooks Brothers. There's a little discoloration on the neck, not too bad. Extra large made in Hong Kong. Vintage, it's like a melon. Melon orange. I wonder if the solids do as well. Okay, next we have a cardigan and Taylor Loft medium. 
I think I might just keep this. I like this cardigan. And it's very lightweight, which is what I need for my sweaty body. Okay, next we have Marmot or Marmot. I have no idea. Um, Goodwill was selling it for $12.99, size extra large. It's a breathable fabric. Ooh, there's a little something there too. Right there and there. It's harder if it's grease. It's not impossible. But we'll see about that. Okay, I couldn't really find a lot on this fella. Genie Toys Inc. I think he's made in Korea. Sewn in Korea. He's definitely older. But I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to get him, but... He also looks very sad, and I don't know if I can not. Okay, next we have a um, hammered little trinket box with a heart on it. Pretty lightweight. Actually, really lightweight. Uh, next we have a little billfold document holder. It looks like people. I'm pretty sure it's leather, like a vintage little billfold. So we're getting those. Next we have a skip hop, um, kind of quilted bag. I usually don't get skip hop because they are usually destroyed. Like people use these things to death. Uh, but this one looks pretty good and it's black so it hides a multitude of sins. So I think we'll get this one. Next we have a Victor Knox Swiss Army. Um, it's almost like a messenger, like a mini messenger travel bag. I think I will probably post this at around 60, $60. Victor Knox is a pretty good brand. I think I sold like a sweater from Victor Knox. Okay, next, I don't know this brand, R Riveter, American Hand Handmade. And it has this little fobby. Support something. Uh, this one definitely needs a cleaning. I'm Kind of staying away from bags that need a lot of cleaning just because I don't have time but I have a feeling this one will probably be worth it and it just it'll probably be easy to clean too because this is just canvas so I can just give it a good wipe down and then I probably will leave the um, leather alone just so it has that distressed look but you could use a balm and like smooth out these scratches and then do a conditioner and it would make it all nice and shiny but I like the distressed look and so if someone wants to do all of that to fix it they can but I'm probably just gonna leave it distressed. Next a bagelini in a fun print. People like their bagelinis. Got that. Next, Annette Lepore. What is happening here? Ooh, the handles are a little sad. This one probably is going back, but it's a good, cute design. But a little too much wear on that one. Next, I don't know the brand on this. It's just like a little carpet bag. Oh, it's Bueno. Bueno. I pick up Bueno, but not often. Once in a while. But I like the... People like the tapestry carpet. Okay, we got that. This one, I'm not sure the brand. But it is cute. It's like a hand tool. 
It has this symbol. So we'll see if I can find out what it is. Oh, here it is. Oh, it's Patricia Naya. Well, there you go. Someone threw it back. All right, not bad. Not bad if I do say so. Okay, I'm not sure about this brand, Ariel. It's a vintage, just traditional, classic black bag with some like chunky hardware. So we'll see about that. Next we have an Ogeo AFG. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but an orange and black duffel. Got a little purse mountain going on over here. Okay, next, next is HKWIP. I haven't found this brand before. Uh, it looks like it does okay. Ooh, the inside is like um, microfiber. It's a little dirty. They had a highlighter explosion. Got that one. Um, this one I'm not sure if I'm getting. It says it's made in Italy or design of Italy. But this thing looks like it is about to croak. It is very broken, but I love this design. We got that. Next, we have a lug bag with a really fun uh, interior design. It's like a quilted. Ooh, what is that? It's very stretchy. Okay, so we got that. Next, we have the super cute, tiny, uh, I think, Hawaii? Sunny Hawaii. Like, I don't know what you fit in here. A credit card? But, very cute. Next, we have a pair of Luis Etsier. Size 8. Metallic. Almost gunmetal. Heel. I found the match in those. And next, we have a pair of Sperry boots. I don't pick up Sperry a lot, but these ones seem to do relatively well. A size nine and a half. Duck boot. So I'll probably get those. Okay, get that. Get the sad puppy. Uh, oh, we have a pair of Fry riding boots. Oh, Ariat. Oh, Ariat. Okay. For some reason I thought they were fry. Uh, Ariat riding boots size size Seiyu seven size seven. So we got those. We got a pair of Rockport flats in a pink color size nine size nine on those then we have another pair of boots we have a pair of jeans um they are green <laughs> i was like what color is this <laughs> like an olive green size seven and a half they're a little chippered up but that's okay okay I don't know about these they're just Nikes they are massive size size 15 and a half big fellas um, okay last is a vintage Wilson's leather bag or maybe it's more new I don't know actually maybe it is more new I don't know I like it it's very cute okay is that all the things we got today I think it might be 
it is. And that is what we are absconding with for today. Not bad for an hour and a half. Digging my little face off and this is what I found. And they've put out a bunch of new bins since I've been filming the overview. But I gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go edit. And we'll be back at it probably tomorrow. Probably come back tomorrow and do a little more digging. But I post all my stuff on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And of course, you can email me at hellohandbagsyt at gmail.com if you're interested. Otherwise, I will see you on the next treasure digging adventure. Bye.